Video cast number 130, Chicken Stew. One of my family's favorite meals is chicken stew made in a Dutch oven. I've made this both in the woods on charcoal as well as right on the stove. Today, we're making it on the stove, but there is no difference that I can tell making it on a camping trip or in your own kitchen. This stew is our go-to stew, where I need to usually make a double batch just to meet the demand for our family of four with some leftovers. So doubling it and feeding a patrol of six or seven is a good bet. One of the great things about this stew is it only has six ingredients, plus some oil, flour, and spices if you like. In all the times I've made this, it has been flavorful enough with the natural ingredients that you can leave out the spices. The first step is to pull together all of your ingredients, which include boneless, skinless chicken thighs, canola oil, carrots, sweet onions, baby potatoes, garlic, chicken stock, and flour. Many of the items can be prepped in advance if you're serving this on a camping trip. So I start by cutting up the onions into about 6 to 12 wedges each. And then the carrots are sliced diagonally into half inch pieces. Then cut up the garlic into pieces. In prepping for a trip, you can put the onions and carrots together in a Ziploc bag and the garlic in a second Ziploc. The potatoes I use are small baby potatoes. They usually don't need to be cut up, but if they're larger, you can cut them in half on site so you don't get them to turn color on you. You can use any chicken broth, but I like this kind the best. It's compact and easy to make out in the elements. It's very potent, so when it calls for a teaspoon per cup, they really mean it, not a heaping teaspoon like you would normally add. When a recipe asks for 10 cups of broth, I'll usually use about 7 to 8 teaspoons of the stuff. The cooking process begins with high heat in a Dutch oven. While the recipe calls for chicken pieces, I like to leave the thighs whole and cut them up right before setting it to simmer later on. Here, you brown the chicken in some oil, making sure to brown it on all sides. When it's done, Remove it from the heat and put it aside to be added back later. Cook carrots and onions together in the Dutch oven until the onions begin to soften. This is about four to five minutes. Then add garlic and cook for about a minute. And then add a bit of chicken stock while scraping to loosen the brown bits from the bottom. Whisk the flour and half a cup of broth in a small bowl. Add to the Dutch oven. This will add some thickness. I usually keep some extra flour around to adjust the thickness a bit more, as the recipe by itself is a little more watery than I personally like. Here, I take the chicken that's cooled a bit and roughly cut it up into irregular chunks and then add it to the pot with the rest of the chicken broth. In about half an hour, you're ready to add the potatoes. Everything is cooked at this point except the potatoes, so you're really softening the carrots and infusing the broth with the chicken. As I mentioned, if the potatoes are larger, cut them up into pieces, but if they're small baby potatoes, you can put them in as is. From here, you're cooking for about 20 minutes until the potatoes are tender. This meal goes really well with Italian or pita bread to soak up the juices, and it's a great winter stew to warm you up. Take what you like, leave the rest, and as we say in Wood Badge, feedback is a gift. Leave yours below in the comments with all the hope we can learn together. I'm Scoutmaster Dave, and this was Dutch Oven Chicken Stew.